welcome back. Let's fly Kerbal Space Program career mode. And now, now, not only is it the career mode, it is also space race mode. Uh, big things are happening. Big things are happening. Uh, unbeknownst to each other. Uh, at the same time that I was starting a, a new save file, starting a new series, and deciding to go with this career mode and starting out with aviation and, and making airplanes and eventually working way up to rockets and then going in uh, space and uh, the, the you know the greater Kerbal system, this other YouTuber guy, Play Daily TV PD, he did exactly the same thing he saw the same mods that i did and saw exactly the same potential and he had a very similar idea uh yeah it's kind of spooky if you watch the two videos that like like how very very similar ideas we had <laughs> anyways pd he talked to me i talked to him we talked to each other and we agreed you know since we're both starting at the same time, starting this, this very similar thing with this mod, this uh, mission controller, where he actually gives you something, a, a tangible means of measuring progress through this sandbox game. We should do it like a competition. How about a space race? I said, yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, we're still hashing out a whole bunch of the details. Uh, as soon after I agreed that this sounded like a good idea, uh, we invited a, a third person is in, uh, Ryan Turner with the, the, the Solar Gamer. Yeah, the guy, guy does, he does some pretty good Kerbal Space Program videos. Uh, and he's in, so it's a three-way race now. Uh, we're still talking about the rule sets, talking about what mods will be allowed, what mods will not be allowed, and exactly how we're going to set it up. Uh, but it is going to happen. So just not quite there yet. Anyways, yeah, it's, it's, it's cool stuff. And, and you know, hopefully, I'm hoping to, to rope some uh, some more Kerbal Space Program YouTube-type people in, into into this. Uh, you know, this this whole deal, as I'm recording this right now, uh, this entire thing, we, we just started putting it together like in the last few hours. So there's a whole bunch of people that, uh, you know, they're probably enjoying their weekend, and they may not even know about it yet. I don't know. Hopefully, we get a few. Others. If it's just the three, that's cool. Maybe we can get a couple others. That'd be that'd be even more cool. Anyways, select mission. What are we doing this time? All right. I want to. Wait, is it, where did my custom missions go? No, these are all rocketry missions. Where did my custom missions go? Hang on. Okay, stop. I have to reload this. I see. I, I even moved over. I've got a totally separate install of the game to keep the the race thing separate from uh, all, all my other Kerbal Space Program stuff. But. Okay, yeah, hang on. I'll, I'll stop recording. I'll be right back. Yep, okay, I'm back. Yeah, I just I just forgot to move my, my custom missions over to this install. Here we go. Next site. Uh, next mission, Wings number two, the right stuff. The description, fly a manned aircraft between 1,000 meters and 1,500 meters altitude for one minute and return. Reward a little bit more than we had last time, 7,500k. Okay, so yeah, it's basic, It's functionally identical to the previous mission. The only thing that's different is I want to add a passenger, not a passenger, a pilot. Uh, we know that that um, machines can fly. Now the the we need to find out if Kerbals can fly. What happens when Kerbals get off the ground? So yeah, that's that's the plan. Uh, okay, we're going to use the basic framework of this device here. Let's go. We're going to add a Kerbal seat right there, like that. I think that's good. Here we'll give them a way to get up there, get up into the seat. And how about one of these? Yeah, that'll work. You know, angled like that, you can get up to that seat. Um, also, because, uh, well, now we're getting all competitive about this, price is going to be an issue. Uh, <laughs> will we learn the lessons from last time? Uh, I think we'll leave the wings surfaces as they are, but I'm definitely going to redesign that tail. Uh, you know, get rid of all the show-off parts. Oops, hang on, that was not what I wanted to do. Uh, I was trying to change this strut, as that was ugly. And I don't like ugly struts. Here, let's 
put it right there. Let's see if we can make that be less uglified. There we go. Yeah, that is that is significantly less uglified. Now I need to go and put my Tellius Mobility Enhancer back on there. Turn that symmetry off. Yep, like that. That'll work. Okay, yeah. Okay, let's get rid of our, our show-off cur fancy curved tailplanes. <laughs> and let's go with something a little more plain. Yeah. All right. Okay, what is this? This is not going to be UAV one. Uh, I suppose we should just, uh, until I think of something better. This is AV one. <laughs> uh, we just get rid of the U part. All right, okay, so let me see. Where'd those procedural wings go? Yeah, this competition that we're, that we're looking at doing. Uh, things that we already have decided on is that people are, are going to uh, you must have Ferrum's aerospace research for the more realistic aerodynamics and you must have the deadly re-entry mod installed uh, still you know there's some debate over over what others what others are going to be in use there we go I will have to in order to make things fair I will have to refrain from my uh, my usual config file editing. I, I, I compulsively edit config files. That's like I, 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 I can't stop. I can't control myself. I have to do it all the time. It's, and, you know, that just won't work because you know, everybody has to be using the same stuff, right? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And alt that one. And duplicate it. And mirror it. Here, put it up there like that. Uh, yep. Extremely functional tail right there. And significantly less expensive to construct. Just with this change, let's see what the difference in price in this thing. I just cut 10,000 Ks. <laughs> yeah, the other, the first one was 29,000 K. This one's 19,000. Oh, that's excellent. Uh, I still need a few more pieces, though. Need like three more struts and, and some. Uh, control surfaces. <laughs> that strikes me as funny. That was a, yeah. Somebody else pointed out in the comment <laughs> comment to the earlier video that that was a over ten thousand ten thousand krone in just in the tail structure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now control surfaces. Is that I guess maybe did I didn't get the, did I not get the tail just perfect oh look at that it's angled look at that that is not good that's much preferable yeah that thing was it was angled in the wrong direction that would have made things very difficult to control I wouldn't have liked it Again, we're going for economy this time. It's okay. It can be kind of ugly. It's not too. I'm still gonna put a light on it because <laughs> I like my aviation lights. White nav light on the tip, tail tip right there, just like that. Give that an action group because I like using that to turn my lights on and off. Good. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll sweep the angle of attack so it updates what the stall angle for. All our control surfaces will be, so these are the ailerons. Okay, AV01, anything, oh, I suppose I should take a look at this stuff. Hmm. That made a big change, didn't it? Well, okay. Oh, that's right. I moved all that mass forward, and then I changed the angle on this. Um. Okay, well, let's go ahead and let's take a look at moving the whole wing assembly forward then, huh? 
I'm all the time messing with everything. <laughs> Can't leave well enough alone. Okay, now we got to go and reset all the control surfaces because that every, everything will change by moving that wing forward like that. Oh, I just realized this thing isn't going to launch with a crew member on it, is it? There's something else I have to do first. Okay, this is saved. Let's go to new. I need to load a Kerbal into the scene first. And so I'll do that my old tried and true way from back back when this was the only way I could I could uh, make <laughs> this is the only way that I, I could get uh, I could load Kerbals into the uh, persistence files so that I could change their names to name them after viewers. All right, come on, game, let's go. Let's go. Jebediah Kerman is going to be your pilot this time. Again, you're looking at this. You're wondering what is going on. What is this madman doing? Just just watch, watch and learn. <laughs> We're not going to launch this one, so the part's not going to cost me anything. Stop. Stop rolling. Good. Okay, here. What is this thing doing over there? Get over there. Get where I want you. Okay, good. Now, go to Space Center. Uh, get back into here. Load AV1. Close that and launch this one. Interesting that it's nighttime. I don't recall. Yeah, I think I was playing around with, with a couple things, but you know, we, we can fly at night. It'll be good. All right, so set the airplane's brake so it doesn't roll away. And then move this thing over here again. Whoa, oh, whoa, whoa. Accidentally clicked the time compression. All right, so. What, Jeb just spent like a whole day stuffed inside the can over here. Sorry about that, Jeb, but I don't know. He's tough. He can take it. EVA Jeb. Good job. Let go. Fall on your face. Oh, man, do not get spliced into that cockpit over there. That would be bad news. Jeb's going to go over there, and he's going to man this vehicle. Why is he not running? Oh, I guess he is running. That's as close as he gets. Oh, I need to, hang on, I need to extend, extend my mobility enhancer. Um, hello? Hello? Extend? Hello? Um, why is this not extending? Not enough electric charge. Oh, this thing sat for so long that the electric charge totally died. Because it sat here all day and I accidentally did the time compression thing. Um, oh, this is just turning into kind of a, a very curbled up mess, isn't it? All right, Jeb, get off the runway. <laughs> it's a good thing we didn't, you know, I didn't stage it, so it didn't cost me any money yet. we will still have the same amount of cash, same amount of crones in the budget. Good, okay, now get over here. End flight, end flight, restart flight. Good. Uh, I didn't expect us to go all the way back to... Wow. Back, we're back to nighttime again. It's okay. It's okay. We can deal with this stuff. Alright. We have that here. Uh, set the parking brake. Extend extend the ladder. Good. Now we switch bit over to the can again. Get Jeb out of the can again. He let's go. He face plants. He stumbles around in the phasing right through the side of the canopy. Run, Jeb! Run! Run as fast as your stubby little legs will carry you. You ever wonder why Kerbals wear helmets when they're, they're walking around on, actually on the surface of Kerbin? They should be able to, to breathe the air, shouldn't they? Here. Jeb, climb the ladder, dude. Jeb, come on. Jeb. Jeb, hello. There we go. I didn't know that he. I didn't expecting that you would have to reach up. Okay, he's up there. Board. Bang. There we go. Looking pretty cool. Okay, so this is the mission that we're going here. All right, we're ready to stage. Budget drops down to twenty-five thousand Ks. Okay, we're producing electricity. I like having 
lights on because it's at night. So there we go. Uh, turn the brakes off. Always reluctant to let go of those brakes. You already notice that? All right. Get my camera all set up here like this. Just pull back a little bit. Okay, Jeb, here we go. First, first Kerbal to, to leave the surface of Kerbin. That's you, buddy. A little bit of throttle, because it's really easy to overspeed these things. A little bit more. Pull gently back. Okay, well, that's being a little more nose-heavy than I anticipated. I suppose maybe, maybe Jeb's heavier than I anticipated. Think that could be it? There he goes! Looking pretty cool. Jebediah Kerman, he the man. Uh, last time we went to the left. This time let's go to the right. And let's do a climb. Up to one kilometer. And a beautiful night for flying it is. Look at them stars. This is another thing. See if the Kerbals, if they've been living underground all this time, uh, people have speculated that there was they're they are the survivors of a, you know, a generations past nuclear war that that uh, you know destroyed everything on the surface of Kerbin except for this one last remaining space center. Uh, whether that's true or not, if they've been underground all this time, they don't really know anything about the wonder of looking at the stars. So this this is a fairly new experience for for our young Mr. Kerman here. And he must feel especially, especially odd now that, that uh, Jebediah Kerman is closer to the stars than any other Kerbal, Kerbal ever has been. Still kind of a long way to go, though. <laughs> uh, I should have looked at the clock over there. Here, let's open this up. Yep, another ten seconds. Okay, so, that's good. Now we... Oh, I, I do not have the option to finish the mission. Did I... Let's let's find something out here. Deselect, configure, look at this. No, I did not disable it. Oh, that's right! That's okay, because I set up as an official mission goal, we have to land this thing. Oh, pay attention to your altitude, dude. We're descending. Okay. I wasn't paying attention to it when flying. Uh, I'm going to just do a separate mission goal at this point. Uh, okay, yeah, we don't get the reward until we actually land. But before you go and land, Jeb, I want to find out how high this thing can climb. How high will you fly? What happens when you try to fly high? We already know that we can get up to, what, 1,300 without anything bad happening. How how high can you go? Like the Like the opposite of limbo. It's ob mill, because that'd be like limbo backwards. It's how high can you go? We can afford to do full throttle at this point. Hope Jeb brought, brought a camera with him. Hope he's taken lots of pictures so we can go back and share share with the rest of Kerbal Kind. What, what does the world look like from way up here? He probably at this point notices that it's starting to get a little bit more chilly. Not having problems breathing yet, though probably notices that his engine is starting to produce a little bit less power than, than it was down low. Isn't that interesting? New phenomenon to to bring to the eggheads. Get let them let them argue on that one for a while. Because as the higher we climb, we lose engine power. Kerbin looks pretty from up here at night. And imagine he's looking over there, and, he might, and uh, Jeb's got, he's a good pilot, he's got some pretty good eyes. He's probably looking at the island over there, noticing that there's a couple of structures. And in what looks like, you know, a long landing strip, maybe. Uh, he'd probably bring back his findings about that one. Report that to his superiors. Okay, we're having to keep on pitching more and more back. And we're still climbing. Just not climbing quite so effectively as before. 
imagine Jeb at this point might be noticing that it, the air is becoming, uh, not only is it significantly colder where he is, uh, he's having a little bit of difficulty breathing. He's feeling kind of short of breath. Still, he's still with maintained control walls. He has all his faculties intact. He's going to continue flight for now. I can push the envelope. Let's see what happens up here. He's lucky that Kerbin has no clouds. Well, if, yeah, in this respect, he's lucky because he gets to see this this um, this perfectly clear night sky. Uh, uh, see everything spread out before him. No, no. I imagine if he has an atmosphere that does not form any clouds, they must have like almost no moisture or anything in the atmosphere at all, which means probably no haze. He probably has a very, very clear view of the stars from up here. Okay, airplanes are just barely climbing, but we are still climbing. That's 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 worth something. Now we're seriously starting to run out of some climb here, dudes. Okay, let's drop the nose. Let's pick up a little more airspeed. Try, try and see if we can get a, keep a climb going. Can we, can we make 10 kilometers? And pitch gently back. Let's stop doing this curve. Okay. Yeah, we, now we have a climb going again. That's good. Yeah, it's probably... It, it's... I don't know, Kerbin doesn't have seasons or whatever. It's it's pr definitely the temperature is below freezing at this point. Jeb, and Jeb is feeling cold. He's very short of breath at this point. He's maybe maybe feeling a little bit woozy, feeling a little bit dizzy. But, uh, you know, it's nothing that Jeb isn't used to, just an average weekend for him. So he's, he's just going to keep on motoring along. Got the stick almost all the way back now. Yeah, I think he is going to make 10 kilometers. I'm not certain how much, how much further above that he's going to get. Yeah, 10 kilometers. Keep on going, Jeb. Keep on going. I wonder what color do cover, do, what color do Kerbals turn whenever they're not getting enough oxygen? He probably doesn't turn blue. Does he turn? Pink, maybe? I... I don't know. See, so more likely, maybe a, some shade of yellow would be more likely, huh? Okay, now I have the stick all the way back. Airspeed is still dropping. Got up to ten and a half kilometers. Okay, let's try it. Let's drop the nose again, build up a little bit more airspeed and see if we can... See what kind of it, what the altitude record Jeb's gonna set. He's all about he's about setting the records now. He's pushing the envelope. Okay, pulling back some more, and I don't even know if it's gonna climb again. Your speed is increasing again. Okay, okay, got a climb going. Come on, Jeb, we can do it. Eleven kilometers. You know you can do it. You know you you know you wanna go further than you did before. Yeah, the last time it was what what ten five five? Getting up to 10.6. There we go. Keep on going. Keep on going. We've got a good rate of climb going here, dudes. 11 kilometers. I want to see 11 kilometers out of this bird. Jeb's very short of breath. He's big. Beginning, his fingertips are feeling numb. Again, it's an average weekend for him. So he's not concerned. Maybe his judgment is starting to be impaired, but... Uh, that's the fun thing about having impaired judgment is yeah, it's the first thing to go is you don't realize that you have impaired judgment. So that, that isn't bothering him. Okay, yeah, not quite going to hit 11 kilometers. Let's head back to the barn, Jeb. Head back down to the, to the warm, thick, breathable air. So the lessons learned that Jeb's going to bring back to the eggheads. 
Uh, yes, yes, powered flight. Uh, Kerbals do are, are perfectly capable of, of uh, surviving powered flight above the surface of Kerbin. Uh, however, something funny happens whenever you get to higher altitudes, and they, they need to work on deciphering deciphering the symptoms of the, the way the engine was misbehaving and the way Jeb himself was feeling. He also took lots and lots of pictures of the stars. He told them about the uh, dirt strip across the way. I'm probably going to have to go investigate that sometime soon. Yeah, it's going down here where it's easy to breathe again. I think Jeb's so happy about that, he probably wants a victory roll. Even if they have no tradition of airplanes or anything, Jeb's just the kind of guy he would do victory roll. You know he is. He's also collecting data that eggheads will, re will notice that uh, as, he, he, as his airspeed reached this particular point that the drag started to increase significantly. They'll plot it out in their graphs and their charts and everything and they'll realize that it looked like the, the drag was 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 dramatically increasing the fat the closer he got to the speed of sound. And that's something to be concerned about. At least is he happy? You know he's happy. It's Jeb. Look at that man. <laughs> Look he's talking. He's saying something to us. Can't say what, though. It's kind of disturbing, the, the glassy-eyed stared, though. I wish I wish they would blink, or, you know, every once in a while. Okay, the mission, yeah, so if we're doing manned missions, my, my intention is to always uh, have one of the goals, The one of the official mission goals, is to land. Uh, you know, uh, and I don't want to make this make it an assumption that that has to happen. I'm, I'm going to explicitly spell it out. Yeah, yeah, we want we want our curls to come back. All right, start slowing this thing down again. Matter of fact, let's stick that gear out. And fit that trim back much further. Yeah. Definitely feeling a lot more nose heavy at this lower altitude, slower speeds, and especially with, with that landing gear out there creating all that drag. Okay, Jeb, nothing fancy. I want to just see a nice, smooth, gentle landing. I'm forgetting which button to push to get fix my camera. <laughs> do not break the test vehicle and do not kill yourself. In that order. <laughs> We've got lots of Kerbals. We have limited test vehicles. <laughs> oh, pitch back. No, 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 no. Oh, that was too fast. I, I was, like, running out of pitch control. I'm pitching all the way back, and it's nothing was happening. That's a design flaw. Ooh, that was scary. Scary, scary, scary. Brakes. Brakes, 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 brakes. Kill the engine. Wow, that was that was very very nearly out of control right there, right there at the end with the the landing. Okay, Ooh, okay. So now I can finish this. Let me see. Finish the mission. Budget is up to thirty three thousand crones. Uh, let's recycle the vehicle. And ooh, got a little bit of profit that time. Still, we're still not up to our our starting. <laughs> Yeah, but we we have more money than we started this mission. Okay, cool. End flight. End flight. Get back into the space plane hangar. There's AV01 demonstrating that Jebediah Kerman himself has the right stuff, as the, as the mission is titled. What's what's the next thing on the agenda? So, yeah, Jeb got up, went up there and flew. He learned quite a few things. Uh, some interesting phenomena happened. Uh, the next mission, Wings 3. High altitude research. Fly an unmanned aircraft between 15,000 meters and 17.5 meters altitude for one minute. The UAV must carry a barometer and a thermometer. Yeah, so we've got a... Um, yeah, uh, Jeb was noticing some of his physiological symptoms. He's getting cold, he's getting short of breath, he thinks maybe there's less oxygen or something up there. 
Uh, so we're going to the next mission. We're, we're going back to the UAV. We're going to send an unmanned research vehicle up to higher altitudes, higher than this one is currently capable of reaching. Yeah, remember this one did, did what crapped out didn't quite hit 11 kilometers, right? And um, yeah, and then and then we'll find out what is the air like up that high. So yeah, that's coming up next. But for now, we'll, we'll see it's recording, and I will talk to you later. Bye.